Hi and welcome to DCL. In my videos I share with you parametric tutorials so you can learn how to use Grasshopper for architecture. In this particular video, we'll be arraying this set, this tile on this roof using paneling tools. So let me share with you how we created this script. If you take a look at the script, we have three different groups. Each group has a different object. If we take a look closer, we see base surface. So that is what we have here is the base surface that is created using this script. So it's points that are moved, a line created and extruded in one dimension in the Y dimension by 125. That surface is then subdivided using paneling tools. So with paneling tools, we subdivided using a grid, offset the grid, and using Morph 3D, we were able to array a module. What module? Well, let me hide everything and show you how we created the module. If we go down here, all we did was started with a point and created an arc. So this point was moved over and up to create a three point arc. This arc was then offset and then turned into a solid curve. This curve was then moved in the X direction and then moved up. So we have two curves that are closed, then lofted together to create this solid. And so what happens is by default, the way that this is organized, when we turn on the array, we see that we have the UNV flipped. So if I turn on the final result, we have this flipped. So this is why I can go here to rotate, no rotate or rotate, and this will rotate the module, therefore rotating it on the array. And that shows you kind of that seamless look for that clay tile roof. So that's what you'll be seeing here in the next video. And if you have any questions, make sure to let me know. I post videos like these every week where I share with you um, exercises where you can practice techniques to make some, um, to learn more about parametric design. If you want more resources, check out my website and uh, subscribe for future videos. So thank you very much for being here and let's jump into the tutorial.